Hello all, Chive here. It's been a while since the last vlog, about a week, which is what it should have been. Um, and how it's going to be from now on. Updates of the last week. I completed my origami challenge, number... What number is it? Oops. Number three, create an origami crane with the instructions. I've not put the sticker in yet, but as proof, I have it here. A little purple crane. It's not a flattened variety, but it's a little purple crane. For those of you that I have, um, that are in the Ravenclaw house of Hex and frequent the tree house, I've started a portfolio in there and it's all about origami because I absolutely fell in love with it making the crane. I've uploaded how to videos on this same YouTube account which contain all the ones that I've made and I'm slowly making the how-to videos of the items that I've made because I've made the crane, a flower, a toy, all with paper and with napkins. I've made a double leaf napkin, a bird paradise napkin, a lotus flower napkin and a butterfly, a butterfly napkin. <laughs> And um, I've yet to record all the napkin videos, but I will get them done as soon as, probably after this little recording session that I'm doing now. Um, but yeah, no, so Origami went amazingly well um, in terms of the challenge. And there's nothing really to talk about in terms of it because it was just basically making a crane. And I have made a how-to on how to make a crane. So if you're interested and want to see proof of me actually making a crane, I've done that in a video. Um, I don't see the point in making it in this video as well when you can just click on um, click on it through my channel. Yeah, I should have think the correct terminology then. Yeah, YouTube. But um the other challenge that I was going to do, challenge number I know what it is, it was a swear box. It was challenge number uh, Oh I can't see it at the minute. But basically the swear box challenge wasn't completed purely because I've not been around to the other house. Um for those of you that are unaware and I'm sure I've said this in a previous vlog, I'm currently doing my exams at the moment and I've been studying extremely hard about them, for them even, and I've been more worried and concerned about completing the exams rather than um, completing a swear box. But it will be done one week, I promise you, so I'm trying to complete the entire book. But um, yeah, no. So just just an update. I did complete the crane. I didn't complete the swear box. So there's not really much to say in this video apart from that because I already gave you a video last week of my other item, which was the good deed, doing something charitable without being asked, and then the other one really that I've done this week. I was trying to put the book down on my phone by accident. <laughs> Um, yeah, no, the other one that I did this week was the crane. Um, but apart from that, there isn't much more to say because uh, I've, I've told you about the origami how to, except there's one more thing before I forget. I found another book today when we were book hunting in a second hand shop and charity shop we were looking around book hunting. So one of my friends really is really in the mood for reading books recently and I have this book, didn't I, from the last charity shop bookshop. I now have this book. 101 things you wish you'd invented and some you wish no one had. It's made by the same guy, Richard Horn, but it's with a different fellow of called Tracy Turner. I can pronounce it this time. And it's pretty obvious that it's along the same series. And it was made after the 101 things to do before you're born because that's the first one that they ever made and then at the top it says that this is following on from their success and that. Um, I've had a very quick glance and it follows the whole same thing as intro, information and a form. So what I'm planning to do, because some of them they look pretty simple and pretty easy to, and quick to do, is each week 
I'm going to make a video and I'll make it after this one, completing five activities out of the 101 things. It's going to be a lot quicker than completing the other book purely because they do look a lot simpler and easier to do. Um, and it just looks like a lot of form filling out really. Um, so stuff like park and ride on a ride, any ride, and then you just talk about the ride. Uh, stuff like name your, well, I say that, it says name your favourite amusement theme park, where is it? And then it talks about name your favourite roller coaster that you've been on, what's the longest you've had queue to get on it and stuff like that. So it's not a case of I have to do things in some cases, some cases it's just filling out forms. Um, in terms of the invention, but I figured it, it looked amazing. I spotted it. It was pretty cheap. It was two pound, I think. Yeah, two pound. Uh, second hand bookshop shop. Oh, it was a charity shop. I can't remember which one I picked up in. Um, but yeah, no. So I figured it, it goes along goes along nicely. So I will update. I'll make separate videos for this one, and at the start of the video and in the title of the video, it will. What I'll do is it will be titled differently because what I'm planning on doing is starting from the front of the book so from number one so we'll start at number one and do the first five and then the next five and then the next five and I won't look at the forms or anything until I actually do the until I actually do the invention task but some of them I will need to prepare for in advance um, or it'll be a case of I have to quickly flick through the five before I do the video to make sure I've got everything for it uh, a few days before because some of them I'm not sure whether or not I'm, I'm like I said it's only a brief look and I'm not sure whether or not um, I need any information or anything because it's stuff like x-ray um, intelligent robots banana suitcase sounds weird sounds interesting I can't wait to explore it and of course I'm not going to look in front I'm not going to flick through I'm not going to have a read of it now it's all going to be honest videos in terms of as I read it and do it you're seeing it the first time as I am except for in case I need to prepare which will be a case I won't try out the tasks I'll simply grab the items that I need which should be simple enough hopefully but yeah no that's about it it was a brief video um apart from talking about this book and i will be uploading this video today and a video of the first five items in this book hopefully i'm gonna make sure i've got everything for it um because i've only just bought it today but that's about it that's that's me um oh in terms of items that i'm going to be doing this week they are yet to be on they are yet to be decided purely because i have the most exams this week i had an exam today and i've got two more one on wednesday and one on thursday and after thursday I've, and i've got a um i'm doing all my exams and then on friday i've got an event an award ceremony that i'm going to and it's going to be very nice i hope i'm excited i'm dressing up like a princess well i say like a princess but i've got a dress and i feel like a princess in it so i love it i absolutely love this dress but that's beside the point so there's no guarantee that i'll get any items done but i'm determined to get at least one item done and i'll find whichever one it is by the end of the week and i will post a video next weekend slash monday of um an update of completing the challenge and that so yeah um that's about it apart from no that's about it i've talked about the book i've talked about what i've done and yeah so it's been fun i hope you enjoyed the origami art if you go and watch them um they're in a separate playlist to this so yeah, see you next time. <laughs>